All right, we're back. This is Gavin, this is Bic, and Barking Dogs. Um, <laughs> you'll probably be hearing the dogs more than us, but this podcast is going to be fairly small, so let's just see. After that, I'm going to go and kill the dogs. I have the gloves. I'm showing the gloves to people. Because, mm-hmm. uh, okay. These are the murder gloves, special gloves. Uh, mm. I actually, the gloves are for the kill the babies, but then I have to kill the dogs' babies and the dogs. All right, uh. this is going to be, it's taken a wrong turn, so we're going to come back. <laughs> Okay, now the first test is about to start, or it has already started when you're watching this. You're probably watching the first test as well. And if you're not watching the first test, then I don't know what you're doing because stop watching T20. <laughs> it's enough. You need to start watching real cricket. Now, I would have predict- predicted Australia would have won 4 nil after what Australia did in the first two one-day international, which was almost predictable. Then India won the next three matches. Then Australia came back and won the last one. And everybody's been very pally-pally to each other. So a lot of people have been talking about what's happening with the banter, abuse, Nobody is happy. Gautam Gambi is not very happy. Mm-hmm. Um, journalists are not very happy. People like, you know, Rosi Roti ka sawal hai. You know, mm-hmm. already coronavirus is destroying our livelihood. Now you're not fighting. What are we going to write about? Mm-hmm. So, Even uh, Rohit Sharma is back. B- Rohit Sharma is back. I don't know what's... He's clinically fit, apparently. I don't know what that means. What What does that mean? Clinically... What? what I have no idea what that mm-hmm. means. Clinically fit. Like, they're just making up stuff right now. You know? Yeah. Okay. Now... A lot of things that happened to Australia recently. Mm. Um, they have gazillion injuries and weird things happening. Now, apparently, I did not know this until like a few minutes ago that mm. Cameron Green got hit because just with Bumrah hit him. You know, a lot of times that happens, the ball comes and he always misses. You know, the, or the bowler is uh, bowling very fast and the mm. batsman hits it and suddenly, particularly on a follow through for a fast bowler. Mm. And that's what happened with Cameron Green. It hit him whack <laughs> in his head yeah. and uh, he got concussed. Uh, Pukowski is concussed, who was another player who was supposed to play or open and uh, who has been playing well. Mitchell Stark has uh, some personal things mm-hmm. that he has to take care of. I think illness in his family. Sean Abbott was supposed to play uh, and Sean Abbott is also now injured, who is not playing. <laughs> I don't want to talk about, tell people who Sean Abbott is particularly because... Um, Probably that's not the right thing to do. I was going to talk about it, but then I was like, let it be. Stephen Smith himself uh, has some sort of an injury. Uh, nobody's saying anything about it. David Warner is anyway out. Yeah. Uh, it's become very complicated. So, um, yeah, so many injuries. I don't know who's going to show up in the in the first match um, and what's going to happen. Although, uh, if you really see the betting odds, not surprisingly, Australia is... Um, fairly favored. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, odds are at one point six eight. You get for Australia and two point eight five for uh, India. In general mm-hmm. terms, that'll be called outright favorite, if not overwhelming favorites. So, if you have some money, you can put uh, money. We are not. Uh, we are not a betting syndicate, and we're not selling drugs. Is to say mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. and because apparently betting is fairly legal in every other country apart from few third world countries. Uh, which are we are not third world country, but it, it's illegal anyway. Okay, so um, uh, Indian team, do we have injuries? You want to talk about that? I don't think anyone has injuries. One injured player has came back, and uh, even Saha was playing well. So I don't, I've not heard anyone being injured, unless it's not, you know, informed. What about Ravindra Jareja? Wasn't he injured? So yeah, I think uh, they are. Yeah, he was, but was I think he was just injured for the T20s. He was, he was. I think Pant, Pant is also injured, right? He has like uh, belly syndrome, where your belly just is <laughs> too far than it that's should be. That's not injury, that's uh, disability. <laughs> disability, okay. Then the, then Rohit Sharma is also has a disability. <laughs> but you can't call somebody a disability if you just cause it yourself, right? That was the rule of disability, I thought. Uh, everybody scoring centuries, Hanumam, Hanumam, Hanuma Vihari. Hanuma Vihari. Yeah, yeah. Um, apparently, Jasmeet Bumrah was hitting sixes. Um, apart from Prithvi Shaw, I think everybody looks like a batsman <laughs> yeah. and a bowler and yeah. a fielder. Yeah, true, true. So, I think it's just, uh, we have just way too many players to play. Yeah, we have a lot what of What is options. the likely squad you're looking at? Can you tell me, like, you have, like, can you tell me what, who do you think is going to be in the squad for the first test match? Before Virat Kohli goes to become a father. Yeah. So, I think uh, opening will be done by uh, Mayank Agrawal and Rahul, KL Rahul. Then uh, hmm. we'll have Pujara 
and uh, then virat kohli uh and then our uh, vice captain to be captain for oh. the rest of the three test matches jinx our favorite jinx a <laughs> jinx yeah and who's the keeper i think saha will keep i hope saha will keep <laughs> and uh, yeah but you never know with this team and then i think the bowlers would be uh, i think ashwin will play get get a look in uh, mm-hmm. and then uh, our bumrah shami and the other two bowlers i'm not sure i think saini might play uh, navdeep saini did you say vihari before that i don't oh, yeah. know like do yeah. we have a s- vihari was there right yeah vihari i didn't and mention vihari bowls but uh, vihari, didn't mention so we yeah, didn't, didn't mention vihari I didn't mention Vihari. So, so who do you have? Like, what is it? Mayank there in the team, right? Mayank and uh, Rahul would be opening. So Mayank and Rahul is opening. Then Virat and Pujara is there. Pujara. So four batsmen, and then uh, who's the fifth? Then we have the obviously wicket keeper, but we have Ajinkya is the fifth, right? Yeah, yeah. And then we have one more batsman, right? Yeah. So that'll be uh, I think Anuma Vihari, because he has been he has been uh, pretty well backed up by the Indian team. so it should be him then the wicket keeper saha and i think then they will for this test match i don't see i don't think they will have a spinner probably uh, there's no spinner in the indian team it might happen because uh, it's a day night test so i'm not sure because vihari bowls a bit yeah but didn't you just say that you were going to pick r ashwin yeah if vihari is playing then i don't think r ashwin will play uh because so uh, oh, so we'll have four bowlers right so so yeah the uh, openers virat and uh, pujara four uh, then uh, jinkya rane five uh, saha six vihari seven and then uh, we have four bowlers so i think hmm. that would be i think that would be the team unless they read the pitch and see that there there would be some help for the spinners because it's a day night test so i feel that they'll have four fast bowlers uh but that's my that's my take what about you oh the team i am p- perfectly cool with okay okay i'm just going to like go through it quickly yeah i think mayank and um, rahul are yeah they should in right i think that yeah. i don't think was four are is there any debate i'm not sure um, i could be wrong i'm not paying i've not been paying so much attention to this thing mm-hmm. but i think we mayank and rahul are definitely playing right so then yeah. jinke rahane and pujara and these five are obviously done i i would say that if they pick rishabh pant mm-hmm. uh, see obviously apart from the thing that anything hap- can be possible mm-hmm. but i i personally think it's going to be a mistake unless there's a there's an anomaly and there's like something uh, completely off beat happens an exception happens mm-hmm. it will be a mistake not because uh, R- R- rishabh pant can not score or saha is going to score more but when it's a test match there's a huge difference between a test match and a one day international and a t20 mm-hmm. you're going to s- drop one catch and i'm telling yeah. you for heaven's sake it will always be the worst player it will be steven smith on 27 then he'll <laughs> make 270 yeah, yeah that's what happens yeah yeah true a t20 you c- drop a catch uh and then like a 19.1 overs and then like he still has like four deliveries what he's going to do <laughs> so here you have like 400 deliveries and still kick and go on that is the problem when the batsman is good and steven smith doesn't have to worry about and you notice that more and more balls steven smith has mm-hmm. whenever he has less ball pr- ball, uh, ball pressure you know uh, over pressure mm-hmm. he simply refuses to get out that's yeah. the problem yeah, yeah, with yeah. steven smith yeah yeah right so um One of the major reasons I still think Australia is favourite is because of Stephen Smith, not simply because of his runs, but the, just the presence of a person itself mm. just tells other people that you can actually play. You're going to be okay. It doesn't matter. You can mm. just be yourself. But you remove Stephen Smith right now. Suddenly the opening slot is like all over the place. Yeah. And it's like I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. See, I, I, I again, I, I'm not keen on uh, uh, Ashwin. Mm. Obviously, a great bowler in India. but uh, fairly average uh, overseas plus it's an, a day night match yeah exactly ravindra jade you had picked ravindra jadeja right no no i didn't pick ravindra was he there i oh, jadeja is also not there no no Who i picked is, like you have four four fast bowlers over yeah just four four fast bowlers and uh, hanuma vihari because i think they need extra batsmen for this test so 
yeah i think i think that will that will be my team i don't think because hanuma hanuma vihari can also bowl a bit of spin off spin uh so but yeah that will be useless right you mm-hmm. really think he's going to take wickets no he not take wickets he can u- be used for uh, get giving rests if you know bowlers yeah, are not taking going to get spanked for sixes <laughs> so i don't think that's going to be that's going to work out very well i think they should still uh, go with ravind jadeja if they're going to go with one sp- who are your bowlers shami is anyway sh- uh, in bumrah is definitely in hmm. who are the two that you pick so uh one is sani hmm. and uh the other bowler can be picked among siraj and uh uh deepak chahar i don't yeah i mean deepak chahar it i think it's all it all depends upon the wicket if uh it will obviously swing during the night because deepak chahar is a swing bowler so i think he can get a look in uh i mean i can't even know the squad is he in the squad because freaking according to uh, crick info he's not in the squad he's not in the squad okay wasn't he playing the yes, uh I don't know if it's updated or not updated I don't know what the hell is this thing but according to list I'm seeing I can't even see the picture okay then if he's not there then uh, probably we see raj yeah. yeah I I think even if it's not updated unless he's been added recently he's he's not in any squad like first two is different squad and third fourth is different no, squad he did play, yeah. did he's not play listed in the one day uh, at his already 20s yeah so He's yeah. not listed in the squad. Okay. Yeah. Let me open. He's not listed in the squad. Why are you so keen on Navdeep Sani then? Like because you just picked him out, right? What is he? What does he bring differently apart from the just speed, which is speed is not going to be a concern for Australian players. Yeah, I think he's he has uh, he can bowl good Test match uh, uh, lengths because the, his problem was uh, he was getting hit a lot of times. in the one days and t20s but if you see he is the he has the ability to swing the ball and plus he he has the speed so i think uh, yeah i think he could be a good uh, can bowl short balls as well uh, so yeah i don't i mean i i feel that he could be a good third bowler or fourth bowler uh, why not omesh omesh uh not sure he can also yeah he can also play but see uh, why i'm picking on uh, sh- um uh, this guy because he played the uh, the practice match as well so it certainly indicates that they are keen on the team is keen on playing him uh, in the test matches so hmm. yeah i mean umesh is good but his accuracy is also very uh questionable sometimes but in test matches he could be good so yeah it, it's uh, but i haven't seen him play any did he play the first uh first uh australia the the practice game i don't think so so yeah that's why i'm you talking about umesh yeah 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 no umesh bowled very well recently so i think that's what matters we are indian people we don't care about what happened 20 days ago <laughs> we can only care what happened yesterday <laughs> Yeah no but uh, yeah let's see i mean uh, it the fourth bowler i i feel the f- three bowlers would be uh the three up front fast bowlers would be uh bumrah shami and um and this guy but uh fourth bowler could be among those three people like this siraj there is umesh and uh, who else is there i think there's no one else right So there Umesh played both matches also brother Umesh no, no, last played, match uh, he didn't play Umesh The last match he wasn't there but because obviously they had to give other people chance but he was there in the first game and he he see of all okay. the bowlers of bold he seems mm-hmm. to have bowled the best so oh, that's it? what I'm saying like why are we specifically picking uh, Navdeep Saini who gave 87 runs and took zero wickets Yeah but in first innings he did take three wickets Yeah, he mm-hmm. did take three wickets, but that's the time they were getting like completely thrashed all over the place. It's And also, zero. you have to see which kind of wickets they did take, right? So, if I'm yeah. looking at the scorecard, Navdi Sani got like Mitchell Swepson out, and I think Mitchell Swepson is somebody I've gotten out three times. <laughs> um, then he got Will Sutherland out, and I don't even know who this Will Sutherland is. And in fact, nobody knows who Will Sutherland. You see these names? You have never heard of these names? He did get Alex Carey out, 
and Pant took a catch, so that must have been difficult. Um, <laughs> yeah, there was a shot. Yeah, but then as Kerry was kind of going for it. Hmm. See, uh, because if you see Mohammed Shami and all, they took like the wickets uh, at the top. Yeah, Shami took. And uh, then this guy uh, came in, and hmm. they were already in, in like completely shambles. And then hmm. this this guy come in and he did well. But it's the second innings when the ball would have been so it, it really matters, right? Because he toiled for a while. He bowled sixteen mm-hmm. overs and he could not take a wicket. So there was a big toil for him. Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean people can say Jaspeet Bumrah also did not take any wicket. Yeah, exactly. But he went for a lot of runs. So mm-hmm. that was a concern. I'm just saying you should not be outright favorite in front of uh, Umesh because see, Umesh probably is not the most brainiac and mm-hmm. we know that. But Umesh has gazillion amount of experience. Yeah. Uh so I should not think that it should be a very straightaway case that uh, I Navdi Sani has never played a test match, right? You have to remember that too. Yeah. Oh, has he? He has played. I don't I think he has. I think. Said. When? Against Bangladesh. Oh, T20. Okay, he's not played test yet. Yeah. I think getting money for Navdi Sani. I don't know what is the situation here. Because he's favorite of Gautam Gambi. You, you, I told you, remember? Yeah, that's why you're getting <laughs> like swayed by that. I don't think I don't think it's a shoe-in. I would still think India will... Um, uh, Unless the pitch really does not um, warrant it, I don't think India is going to go without at least one spinner. And mm-hmm. it's most likely going to be Jadeja. Because of his bowling, yeah. his batting, everything. So it just comes it just comes good. Ashwin is just not going to be right choice. I don't think it's going to be right choice at all. Um, yeah. But I don't think India will go in without a spinner. Isn't and I don't think they're going to rely also? on Hanuma. Oh. Rohit Sharma? What Rohit Sharma? Hey, Rohit Sharma is also available, right? Is he not? Thirteen, he said he'll be coming. Okay, so he'll not be available. He has to go through the. Rohit Sharma is not available. Are you dreaming right now? Because <laughs> he has. Any, I'm not even sure he's in Australia. Even if he comes to Australia, he has to be there two weeks hard quarantine. He, he yeah, I think he reached Australia. No? He would have reached. Uh, he was supposed to leave on thirteen, so he would have reached by now. I think. It doesn't really matter when he's reached, but yeah, he can't yeah. play. Yeah. yeah. So Rohit yeah. Sharma. So. No, we're not playing Rohit Sharma. Anyway, he's, 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 he should not be playing. He'll probably <laughs> break down in like after 20 overs. He's like, okay, I'm done. It was like, this is not a 2020. Okay, so um, hmm. Australian team, quickly. Um, it's been a very lethargic podcast. I think I'm losing completely plot because everybody's just getting injured and I'm just half asleep or something. <laughs> yeah. So I don't even know Me who's going to open for Australia. I think it'll be... A like, lot yeah. of stuff t- depends on... Um, uh, I don't think Cameron Green is an opener. Joe Burns is like, he can't even buy a run. Uh, bowling is pretty much set mm-hmm. because even if something happens with Mitchell Stark, uh, but sources have told me that uh, Mitchell Stark is there, although yes. he did come very recently, mm-hmm. but uh, there is no reason to believe that he's not going to play. So he's definitely playing. Um, I think there could Both be a really. surprise inclusion of uh, Matthew Wade. Um <laughs> Wade. As well, yeah, yeah, could be, could be. Because yeah. see, my point is like because Matthew Wade is a wicket keeper, right? But he's a and, good uh, well. And they already have a wicket keeper captain, mm-hmm. but in a situation where they're really struggling, instead of forcefully putting Joe Burns, who's really really struggling, Matthew Wade uh, can come in, and he's a very good batsman. And even if if Labushin can open, and Matthew Wade can actually do exactly what he's doing. I still do not know who's the other person to open because all How the openers Steve are like Smith? Steve Smith is not going to open. That doesn't make sense he, he, because uh, you're going to expose Steven Smith at the very at the very op- uh, he doesn't open anyway. Yeah, and if it, Steven Smith gets out, it just sends down <laughs> way too many shivers. Just, uh, and the way Steven Smith plays the shuffle and everything, <laughs> he'll have to readjust his game according to the open. I don't think he will do that. It's not going to happen. Mm. Uh, they won't do it. They won't take a, such a big chance. Also, the fact that if your best batsman comes at number four. It's the best thing because the first two players can, whosoever is batting, they can just play normally and say like Stephen Smith is there. Mm. But Stephen Smith comes at the beginning, if he gets out, it's just not good. That You in fact take away that buffer also from that opening batsman. And mm. the fact that opening batsmen are not good, I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Also, if, if Labushin and Stephen Smith both open, then he'll, you'll not be able to figure out who is who. <laughs> yeah, and if yeah. They both get out, then uh, like... Yeah, it's a huge problem. Huge problem. Uh, bowling is pretty much set because we have, still have to see what the situation is. Pukowski and Pukowski, if he's a, he's a top order batsman, so he can open. If Pukowski, again, he still has to go through the concussion test and everything. Mm. So relying on that, we'll have to see how that works out for Pukowski because he got hit in the head. Um, when did he get hit? In the recent one or the first one? 
got injured against India with Sakar Tartik Tyagi. So I think he got yeah, hit in the first. Run. Cameron Green got hit in the second. second yeah. uh, was ruled out. No, no. He got recently. Cameron Green got uh, hit in the first match. Mm-hmm. So Cameron Green has a more chance. I don't know what is happening. So I, because it's cricket, you never really see a proper list. We can't even. We're not even able to see the freaking team squad. The squad. It still has Ishan Sharma on the squad. I mean, he's not playing. For heaven's sake, mate. Just, <laughs> the guy is probably like half dead right now. So uh, I have no idea who's gonna play. I think Henry so Kiss can Smith's play because he just recently joined uh, the test squad. Uh, yeah, because he's an all rounder. They is called in as a backup. So let's just talk about the bowlers. Obviously, Hazelwood, Cummins, and Stark are there. Nathan Lyon, hmm. and then I think Patterson's gonna play because yeah. uh, it just makes sense. This these it looks very lethal. Hmm. Honestly, it looks very lethal. So. A right hand batsman because this guy is an all rounder. Henrique is in, he's a right hand uh, batting all rounder, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, batting right hand doesn't, he just says all rounder, doesn't say batting all rounder. So I don't know, but I don't think they rely so much on Henrique's bowling, yeah, yeah, uh, per se. Yeah. I, I do not know much about what the situation is with Henrique, how amazingly he's bowling, batting right now. So I can't say. So Travis Head is going to play. You also have to understand it, Travis Head or and Matthew Wade. So there are a lot of batsmen there because I, I really think Travis Head is definitely going to play. Yeah, uh, I think so. Yeah, they, I because don't he, he's been playing else. for a while, hmm. so he's not a great batsman. I think, but there's something likable about Travis Head. I think people just put him in, and yeah. uh, they have Marcus Harris or somebody because he's supposed to be an opening, another opening batsman. Yeah, I do not know what situation is this. So. I think I we will not know until the very end Marcus Harris what is played happening against with India, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he debuted against India. No, Harris has played before. Yeah. So we will not know until like very, very, very end uh, that what happens. But I think it will be another big chance if they still stick with Joe Burns, who really hasn't been able to buy a run. He is mm-hmm. going to be under tremendous pressure and uh, it's going to be difficult. So I would... I won't pick him at this stage because he just looks completely out of sort. It's going to be the massive, massive, massive gamble. Yeah, yeah. So if they want to take the gamble, please go for it. He might just make a 50. But it's a huge, huge gamble. Because if you see his um, uh, first class record also. (laughs) Yeah, well, he's not good. His first class record is also under 40. Any form of cricket, he's never scored more than 40. He's not averaging more than 40. So... It's not like he's a great batsman who's suddenly gone out of form, out of the boil. But he's really struggling. The problem is not even just form. Hmm. He's he's really struggling with pressure. Because every time he's coming under pressure, he's scoring even worse. So that's what I'm saying. Like, would you want to take that chance, particularly when David Warner is also not there? Two really new openers. I don't think so. Right now, you no. just put somebody who's actually scoring. So that's why I'm saying Pukowski, if he gets going... Uh, that's going to be a good order because he's a top order batsman. He did score a big 100, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, against India, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So, was it against India only? So, I think, yeah. He did score, did not play initially. Pukowski was not picked for the but unfortunately got injured, concussion. So, I think I would really bank on this guy. Let's see how that happens. So, yeah, I think that's about it. I think we'll just see after the first, first match happens, then only we'll know what's going to happen later on. Australia is overwhelming, sort of favourite, fairly favourite. Uh, so with the bookies. Who, who's your favorite for and, the first uh, match, first test? No, I'm obviously picking Australia. Oh, yeah, you India said does something yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, I, I, I don't think it's going to be a 4 0. I picked 3 1 eventually. Uh, <laughs> oh, you yeah, picked 2 1 one. Australia. Yeah. Um, and this is the remember. match I but, feel that India will win the day night test. Yeah, I don't think so. So, Australia, by the way, Australia has won all the day night test matches here. And Nathan Lyon has been absolutely rip tickling form. Uh, in all those four matches. So, yeah. it's going to be difficult. It's going to be... Australia has not lost. There's a reason why India was very reluctant on playing the day-night matches. Uh, and we're going to find out here. And we're going to find out how our um, uh, Rahul is, how good is Ajinkya Rahane in the first match. But we'll figure out. Because good thing, the amazing part of Ajinkya Rahane is that he will make three bad scores, then he'll make this nice 70. Yeah. And then people are like, he's so good. Do, no, then, then he will just like, get stuck in. Do, should we drop him or should we let, let him play? It's like very confusing with him always. It it, it doesn't give you pr- very, like, uh, it doesn't give you a lot of confidence, but then you don't, it doesn't give you any reason to drop him as well. It's like he's just hanging in there and plus he's also the vice captain. So, yeah. 
He's just yeah, and this st- the the only last thing I want to say is like this still talks about Prithvi Shaw. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't know. I like mean, what there, is happening? There, if if they have it's to go to just wishful thinking, this is yeah. And if they have to go to another opener, they would go to Shubman Gill. Why would they go to Prithvi Shaw? No, because they've been still talking about it. Sunil Gavaskar and all. They're still talking about. He's Mumbai. playing too many shots. Why are you talking about him? <laughs> you're not supposed to talk about. Him. He's playing, still playing a lot of shots at this to start. No, he's just not ready. He needs to go back. I've said mm. this over and over again. Go back, work on his goddamn technique without losing his offensive shots mm. and try to figure out that why is he making so many mistakes because he's all over the place his feet don't move his head keeps dropping everywhere mm-hmm. and he has no fucking idea which balls to hit which balls to leave mm-hmm. so in the simplest terms rest he has to figure out what works for him and what doesn't work for him create a technique that is solid do whatever steven smith did whatever works for you buddy mm-hmm. because right now when you see him he looks like somebody who's just throwing his bat on something and I just hoping f- like you know like you know hoping for the best yeah, yeah that's yeah. just not going to work out in test cricket when mitchell stark is going to be fucking bowling at you and then once mitchell stark gone then pat cummins will come then freaking josh hazel will come then freaking uh, patterson will come and then fucking nathan lyon will come your life is destroyed and if that's also gone then labushin will start spinning like spinners <laughs> then steven smith will start like spinning like spinner your or life if, is finished or if they play henry kes <laughs> he'll also come and bowl the like, on your yeah, chest yeah bowl so <laughs> it's it's not going to be good it's not going to be good so i'm just definitely picking australia to win the first test matches first test match by a canter so i think it's going to be straight forward win for australia oh, uh, so. after all thing will settle in uh, like okay i think four days maximum first session of fifth day maximum no so my no prediction is that why i pick this test for india to win is because the ball will swing and uh, it'll be very difficult for the australian most of the australian batsmen to negotiate that so that's why i am picking india to win this so let's see who who's that's, prediction that's just a very bad logic is going to come back and bite you in the face both cheeks out so we'll see about ball that. is swinging is like india like the ball is swinging if anything was going to lose right now it's going to be india <laughs> the ball should not be swinging that's the only time india will play anything. no because uh, at least we have a few batsmen who are experienced right uh, australia has just steve smith steve smith they have they have enough batsmen <laughs> so uh, anyway last i just remember what happened to the other guy shreyas or somebody who's supposed to be like very good shreyas is not uh, picked in the test squad he's he's not picked in the squad he's part. he's like the yeah he's the uh, what, i mean the limited over specialist he's not supposed to play in test matches so shubman gill was a specialist in limited over of making runs so slow such to ensure that his average is <laughs> very high i think that was the specialty of Sub- shubman gill looks like a very good player i yeah, don't know what the temperament is going to be yeah, let's just see what's well, going to happen in the first match yeah, yeah. well good luck with uh, your uh, faulty logic <laughs> and uh, let's see how that works out good luck with your we can bias. do a podcast and uh, <laughs> like we can do a podcast on the third day uh, by the end of third day we will be pretty clear after third day that who's winning <laughs> yeah. i am pretty sure um let's see or if it's evenly balanced or evenly poised edge of the seats because there's going to be crowd in australia that's the best part yeah. it's going to be mostly Human indian crowds. people yes even in adelaide mostly indian people so on that note let's see oh, you can send us your prediction as well if you but please predict before already everybody knows because that's also unfair like after two days everybody is getting out india is losing and then you're like oh india is going to australia is going to win or australia is losing australia is going to win yeah but that's not a very good <laughs> idea put predict right now before the test match starts out. out very early on <laughs> put your neck out and take just just take a leap of faith and just tell us and do not just be like if you're indian don't say india if you're australian then don't say australia just just try to be objective if it's possible i know it's mostly not possible but try okay it's like it's it can happen it can yeah. happen we are humans we are very complex hmm. we can do things all right okay, yeah. on that note um, sorry if it was a little bit lethargic but i think yeah. it was funny in that way also yeah, we'll edit uh, it. so if you <laughs> you can you can like like and subscribe don't edit it like, leave the lethargic part let it, this is exactly how the real podcast because i was kept like losing plot in between but me too <laughs> again because it's like a muscle memory i'm still going i'm just saying lethargic when i listen to it, it might not even feel that lethargic but i'm just might just feel like the funnier part but uh, mm. yeah it's, it's very late here and uh, Uh, let's not talk about the office thing yeah. i think your same situation has yeah. really been like you know stuck around so i was like just all over the place 
Okay. okay. Let's see. I'm looking forward to the match and I'm going to be watching it in the morning. It'll be nice. Oh, it's going to be good. See, all the it's day and night test matches always works, right? Eventually, yeah. no matter what India said, they've had to take it because it works best because when you go to Australia, if it's day and night, that's the time you actually people are able to watch it because most of the people, like particularly the young people, by the time they wake up, they're like, it's 11.30 and match is already over <laughs> in the yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know how it is? Like, it's like goddamn starting like at like 5 a.m. or some shit. Yeah. So it's like, it's yeah. already finished. So we're like not happy. So they want day night. When it's day night, it's more become like a day match in India. Yeah, because it's going to start test, around yeah. 9, right? Or something like 8 that. 8.30. So... Yeah. 8.30 because Adelaide is like for eight, half an hour even further behind so when mm-hmm. it comes to Melbourne and Sydney it will come back to 9 and then it goes to Brisbane and I think Brisbane is also <laughs> half an hour behind or forward up or the same so yeah we'll figure Molly goes to West Coast or something it, I don't think we have any matches in Perth so that will not change mm-hmm. because Perth is even much more closer to India like you know it's like almost similar times mm-hmm. because within Australia also there was like a three and a half hour difference between Perth and Melbourne so you can understand mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what's the difference alright on that note take care yeah. have a good day have a good uh, rest of the week and hopefully India wins because we are Indians but it's not gonna happen alright yeah. bye bye take yeah. care bye